Episode 131 of our My Hero Academia watcher is Zuku Midoriya and Tomura Shigaraki. It seems like this episode, we're going to learn a little bit more about One for All. Considering at the end of the last one, All Might said, are you talking to the previous wielders? And Deku has been unconscious for a minute now. We're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big blue bell and let's get started. It was rough, Deku. I'm not going to lie, but... Only a few major losses. It was like Jimmy Neutron's Bane brain blast before you wake up. Oh! No, it's literally everyone! And they're in chairs! Why is that guy just... Oh, two of them are facing the wall. Oh my gosh, there's like every wielder. Yeah, Banjo's black whip. Oh, wait. No, she's Banjo? Wait. Why are two of them just staring at a wall? Wait, four months ago? Oh, so they haven't been here that long. So is that how All Might knew that he was talking to them? <laughs> we can't see what's going on all the time. Can't even talk to them. Why doesn't he have a mouth? But he can kind of talk. What decides what parts are missing? All right, well, we in for it then. This is literally all of them, I'm pretty sure. Fourth wielder, Shinomori. Yeah, that was like the Spidey Sense type thing. Able to sense it? Hey, it's actually kind of like Spidey Sense. So he felt it whenever he manifested it. Oh my gosh. I guess it gives you like a sort of warning before anything. <laughs> Oh, he actually does know? That's right, yeah. Maybe he wanted to hear it from him. Apparently. Wait, what? Not be used by a normal human. So Deku isn't normal. Even before One for All. So he lived as a hermit for a reason. Wait, do you die faster if you have One for All? Dog, how long has Deku got? <laughs> Oh, true. Yeah, all my head for longer. Oh. Because he didn't have a quirk before him. He's the only one who gained a conscious consciousness through it. Before he had to pass it on. To someone else that didn't... Okay. So if, if Deku had had a quirk, it would have killed him faster, right? Can't pass it on to a normal person anymore. Oh. One for all can't be passed on anymore? Could it go to someone that has a quirk already? Who is Corkless? Corkless is an endangered. Huh. Damn! They can't have a last wielder. There always needs to be a, a symbol of peace. And this is the most powerful to, to be able to do it. Yeah, of course they're gonna ask this because if he's if he's the last one for all, then if he doesn't do it, nobody else will be able to. That's what I've been saying this whole time is like, it's building to the fact that Deku is the only one that's gonna be strong enough eventually. No one else will ever match that. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell what's actually Shigaraki anymore. I don't know. Don't anything but hate. I don't know. I think there's still a good in him. Yeah, how he was I mean, he's so far gone, but there's still that original Tomura in there. I wouldn't say it's disgraceful. They're just saying it how it is. They're, I mean, they're desperate. Oh my gosh. Once he finally blooms. Yeah, he's not even at 100%. You just destroy everything. Dude, it feels like Shigaraki and All for One is like, this is like straight up the end game. This is it. What is this language on screen whenever it's doing this? Just a tiny glint. Oh, that must break her heart. Damn. Wow, I thought Deku had given up on Shigaraki. That's kind of what I, it seemed by the end of that whole encounter. Oh, there it is. 
They have to trust in him. Oh, man. God, dude, she is so built. Aww. I just realized Deku still doesn't know the, the outcome of everything. Yeah, th they're corks. He needs everything. Is that why they're not showing them? Is just kind of keep it hidden still? I mean, we wouldn't know their quirks if we just saw their faces. So that's why All Might knew. Yeah, it's like his essence is there. Now is Hawks gonna get to, to the bottom of it? Oh. Uh, we're just learning more. Even worse. Now does he still that feel that same way? Oh, he doesn't. Oh shoot. They're gonna find out. Oh shoot. I think that's a good play by All Might for sure. Well, being told what to say. You can only make the public feel so okay. Oh, shoot, they're actually... Oh, my gosh. They, they said they had to make an announcement or he did publicly eventually. Spoke at length. I want to see Dobby's reaction to that. <laughs> Some claims. It's it's just such a complicated situation. He's speaking. Wow. Yeah, but there was no reason, I don't think, for him to be public about it originally. About his father. Okay. They tried to stop Makia, bro. What are you talking about? Yes, they were there. Through your mistakes. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is so unfixable, man. Yeah, I was about to say, step in, best genius. I like the suit. It's uh interesting. Wait, will people stay there? Oh, Yue's a shelter now. This is a slow process. Wait, they, were they holding Midnight's mask? Bro, is it an eye patch? On Aizawa. Yeah, here's Dobby. <laughs> That rematch is going to be insane. Dobby and... I don't know, probably Shoto. Endeavor took it all. A letter from Deku? Oh, he doesn't want to endanger them, I think. It was like a rude awakening. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He had to be honest. It's all it's all in-game, man. He had to. He wanted to protect them. He's dropping out. Damn. Oh, that's so sad. This OST is beautiful. I didn't even see him wake up. Oh, there he is. A huge villain. The final act begins. Oh, that's so... Like, the final act of all of MHA? That's what it's felt like. That's what this entire episode felt like. Is Like I said, endgame. Shigaraki is the final villain. All for one in Shigaraki. That, that new embodiment. That's literally the final boss. And Deku is the last person that's going to have the power capable to stop him. Now, the real question is, can he save the Shigaraki that's still inside? Or is he just going to have to just brutally defeat him? I have a feeling that's not... There's no, like, saving Shigaraki and Shigaraki's gonna have to just take the fall. It's gonna be crushing, but it's just gonna be how it is and how far it's come. But that's, dude, he left UA? My boy, I remember Bright Eyed Deku getting into UA on episode like one or two. And now look, 130 or so episodes later, he's dropping out. But who knows the next time that Deku will see all his classmates? I guess former classmates. Guys, that's been it for episode 131 of our MHA watch through. Drop a sub if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.